<clears throat> Greetings, Hotel Pacwaba, bless up. And welcome black to the recovery room of racism, non-anonymous, with me, Sis Abana, the victim of racism and recovering African who is enslaved in America, Kaka. I am also true to the cause of African liberation via unification and utilizing the tool of healthy and effective communication. I am also a or the traumatized traumatologist and I am the I am me, <laughs> Mama Earth. And I did give birth to this revolutionary 12-step self-help recovery program uniquely designed with the African in mind, designed to support our healing and recovering globally from the system of racism, white supreme lunacy, and the forced feeding of the European cultural story <laughs> in our very psyche and soul. And that shit <laughs> needs to be externalized. It needs to come up and out. And that is what I do. I practice what I preach and teach. I show and prove <laughs> what the hell I'm talking about. I know trauma, traumatology, victim, victimology, oppression, suppression, rejection, you know, all of that shit. Intent, intent, intentional harm. And what happened? So at any rate, yes. I have a sense you cannot hear this very much. So I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. This is sort of recorded a bit low, yet the music is always flowing in the recovery room and anywhere in my recovery zone. Yes, because it is about remembering and telling the truth about terrible events that support folks who have been harmed with healing. It, it even happens in the physical health arena when you've been harmed and you are taken to a, a sort of hospital, a safe space. The first thing they do is expose the harm. Expose the harm. They look at it, take it apart. And when you're dealing with the mental, emotional, and behavioral health component of self, then in order to heal from the harm, you must expose the shit, you know. And so I, I do those things. I practice what I preach and teach. I show and prove. I'm from that show and prove generation where after every holiday season, we went back to school during my formative years. And we had show and tell. And so I, you know, like Tanya says, um, as your humble servant, I present myself, not as queen, but as your humble servant, to expose myself and my shit, <laughs> you know, up to and including the things that I have come to know. And I did so via active steps, made a conscious decision, did I, to come to know some shit. And, you know, now it's time to share my shit. Yet the thing is, in, in the getting and in the obtaining of knowledge of self, and in order to do that, I had to sort of go through you, family, community, the broader society and understand it all within the context of the spirit that I am. 
isn't who we are. God, God, goddess. And as I went through that process, I kind of got kind of fucked up. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like going through... Well, they would have the soul train lines, but then they, you know, on birthdays, some people would be so vicious as to have you, you know, line up a line, and as you went through, everybody got to beat down on you. But, you know, you kind of went through it and took the beat and shit, you know. So the journey that I've gone through, um, and which has brought me to the point where you see me now, I did, in fact, incur <laughs> a significant amount of harm. And so you are likely to recognize and see that. And when I say that I have been traumatized, or I'm the traumatized, quote unquote, traumatized, and I'm also a traumatologist or one who has obtained a significant amount of knowledge, understanding, and so forth on this uh, thing called trauma, traumatic stress. And when it's dealing with traumatic stress, it's, it, you know, dealing in the in the arena of the self, mind, body, and spirit, thinking, feeling, and behaviors. And uh, I certainly applied to myself first what I was learning in order to get the best understanding of it. And, uh, you know, I'm going I'm to stop at this point and, uh, you know, thanks for listening to me share. And just a comment on the background light, the sun, the energy, that is me. Uh, I kind of intentionally, purposely uh, left myself positioned in this way to acknowledge, recognize, and respect or see the energy that is me, that is we, and that from which I come, that surrounds me, that sort of the spirit, spiritual, you know, aura and plane. That is what it is to symbolize, that's what it means for me, and that's why I left it here for you as I presented and shared. Uh, for you. <laughs> 